Each human carrier provides a wide range of programs and services for children and young adults living with disabilities. Welcome to another MC Cats video, everyone. This is the first time we're actually recording something together, even though we're physically distant from one another. This video is incredibly special for us, and we cannot wait to share its content with you all. Eastern Shield Ontario provides a wide range of programs and services for children and young adults living with disabilities. Eastern Shield also hosts a yearly telephone to raise funds for those programs and services. And we really wanted to launch this video on our channel in March or April to coincide with the same telethon. But unfortunately, the telethon did not take place this year as a result of the pandemic. Alternatively, Nico and I believe it would be fitting to launch it this week as Gap is the shelf is gearing up for its fourth session starting today. On a difficult summer, is the shelf on the hill of sleep away gaps on to separate sites. Camp Marywood is located on Rito Lake in between Bert and Schmidt Falls. Camp Woodkitten is located in Komoga on the Art of London. So Chloe and I were both campers and campers at this camp. I had the opportunity to attend with Eden and then married later in life. The first time I went to with Eden, I was just six years old and I was so excited. It was such a magical place full of fun activities like swimming, arts and class, and party. And I was able to just be a, a typical kid and have fun without worrying about having a disability. Later on in the years, we didn't was able to install a fully accessible high ropes course and a giant swing. These two features really fed my inner daredevil and I loved them so much. The only thing that was tricky for my mom was she would come to get me and I would always say I didn't want to go home. Not because I didn't miss her, but because I had so much fun with all my new friends. Then, in about 2016, we accidentally filled out the camp application form wrong and found out I was going to Marywood. In case you don't know, that is about five hours away from London, so quite a trip. 
But it was honestly one of the best mistakes that could ever happen. At Maryland, my inner water baby came to life. I got to go sailing, kayaking, canoeing, whitewater rafting, and I even went on a four-day canoe portage where we just went to different islands on the Rideau Canal. It was so amazing. And even though I came back pretty exhausted and kind of beat up, it is an experience I will never forget and forever cherish. When I had to leave camp, I was quite sad, but understood it was time to move on. However, when I finished my master's, I wanted to have one summer of just having a fun job. So I applied to work at Camp Wizardon and became a leader in training counselor. This was really amazing because I participated in the Leaders in Training program as a team, and it greatly enhanced my independent living skills. Being able to go back as a counselor to run this program and work with other campers was amazing because I got to meet staff from all over the world, and I got to give children and youth an experience that has impacted my life so much when I was younger. Now, even though I can't work at camp, I volunteer as much as I can. Last summer, I actually had the chance to be a pretend counselor during pre-camp. The counselor had the chance to practice lifting me, helping me get dressed over my clothes, because that would be weird if I didn't have clothes on. And to do activities like the high ropes course, archery and swimming with me. We all learned a lot from each other and I got to have some fun with the staff I knew from the year before. All in all, camp really changed my life. I consider Mary with my son home for about the first 20 years of my life. I started going to family camp with my parents at the age of three and we continued together on the counselors told my parents that I would be old enough to spend Summers at Marywood on my own. I believe that I was 21 years old when I decided to leave that part of my life behind. I became a beer counselor for two years after that and I volunteered whenever my schedule would allow me to do so. For me, Mary Wood was not simply a summer camp. Rather, it was a space to escape all types of barriers as well as societal expectations 
inflicted upon me. I felt a sense of freedom at Marywood that I longed for within my daily life. I still think about those summers on a regular basis as some of my favorite childhood and teenage memories were created there. The peers and counselors I met at Marywood have contributed in shaping me into the individual I have become. And I will be forever grateful for these acquaintances and friendships. So, funny story. So, now it might when we were both studying at King's University College. One day Chloe was creeping my camp photos from way back in the day and we noticed that she was actually standing in the background while I was posing for a picture. It was then that we realized that we were actually at Marywood at the exact same time, the same session, in the same year. And we also had a very close mutual friend. You know who you are. But we never actually talked to one another. We asked our together and Consulates to talk about their camp experience. Nico and I want to thank everyone who participated in this video. We really enjoyed collaborating with each of you. Definitely. We hope that you all enjoy this content. As always, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Also, we are leaving a link in the description below to Eastfield, Ontario, since it is so near and dear to our hearts. If you wish to learn more about the wonderful organization it is, as well as a direct link to the donation page in case you wish to help them out financially. Happy watching!